Hello everyone, uh, my name is Adil Zubair, I'm the Windows Phone Middle East Community Lead and the Windows Phone MVP and I have with me uh, Jerry Asa, uh, SharePoint MVP and Community Lead Riyadh SharePoint User Group and again we have a guest today, a special one and uh, Hello everyone, I'm Hassan Kawaja, with, uh, I'm with Microsoft, I'm a, a field engineer for SharePoint and other enterprise software and also a Windows Phone enthusiast and a developer. Okay, great. So uh, today we'll be talking a lot about Windows Phone. Yes. Uh, before we start about Windows Phone, uh, which devices have you used? What are the previous devices that you have used before Windows Phone 7? Uh, before Windows Phone 7, uh, uh, practically all the, all the recent ones that came out, you know, the the really popular one, the HD2, the all versatile. Yeah, that's a great device. Uh, it's an amazing phone. Uh, yeah. And had a lot of fun playing with um, custom ROMs and doing a lot of geek stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. stuff with it. And, um, and before that I had the uh, HD, the HD1. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that a Samsung Omnia. Uh, so you're, you came you came from the Windows Mobile background. Pretty much, when I've been using Windows Mobile for for a long time. Mm -hmm. And even before that, I had a Windows Mobile a smartphone, which was uh, I think Windows Mobile two thousand three or something. I wasn't there. Either, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, tell me, what are your first impressions when you first saw Windows Phone seven? When I first saw Windows Phone 7, I was like, wow, this is different. Uh, you know, if you have been using Windows Mobile all the way from Windows Mobile 5 to 6, 6.1 and 5, they are all pretty much look, look the same. Uh, even though they give you a lot of flexibility, you know, they were not, you know, as finger touch friendly as you'd see mm -hmm. other competitors or other phones you started to see. So when you first see this one, you're like, wow, it's unlike, you know, the phones that you've seen in the market or the interfaces which are you know really popular and um, and you know it seems like they really put a lot of effort uh, in the in this so I was really surprised pleasantly by the, the fresh interface the look and uh, you know the features they had they had put in and so. especially there's no start menu on the phone <laughs> Uh, well, the start menu is the whole yeah, thing. There's a little the start menu there, you know, inside the screen. You know. Yeah, it's just a hardware button. Now. Yes. <laughs> so it means hard start menu, you know. Uh, great, great. These things are great. Uh, honestly, when I first saw this phone, I had some conflicted feelings. Uh, I didn't know where to start, you know. It, it, it feels really different. I, I really felt the difference. Uh, I'm a big fan of Windows Mobile and all the flexibility yeah. and all the great stuff you can do. And uh, I felt really, uh, I don't know, but in shock that this is something really new and this it's, it's something that I've never seen before. Okay, it looks a little bit like the Zoom, but still it's, it's not anything Not totally like the Zoom. Yeah, exactly. And uh, from what I have experienced, you will, you will definitely love it when you, saw, when you see it, once you see it live. Seeing it in the videos and all these things, I don't know if you share the same opinion with me. So, you know, when you know it was uh, it was building up to the release, I was just every day checking any videos being released, you know, from you know leaked out or you know watching the the Steve Ballmer at the uh, Mobile World Congress, you know, mm -hmm. when he first came out with it, and uh, this you know any updates, I was really excited. Uh, yes, I was concerned. You know, initially all the apps I'm used to in six point five. Mm -hmm. Will not be there. Plus, you started hearing things, uh, some features which you know may not make it in the first version. Uh, but I, you know, besides that, I was very optimistic and excited. It, it's a you know totally a fresh start. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great uh, OS, and you know with times you know it will build its ecosystem. You know apps will come in, uh, people will start innovating, and you know more features will come. So uh, for me, I think it's it's a it's a very well put first try for Microsoft on that. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so uh, you guys are all saying uh, it's different. It's different, right? Yeah, so different. what is that difference? Can you guys discuss, you know, uh, how, how different this phone is from the other phones in the market? Uh, first of all, I mean, the emphasis is on, on you. You know, things which matter to you the most. Uh, you know, your social circle, your work, the people you interact with. And I think in, the, in that respect, Microsoft did 
uh, you know, time integration with social networks, with Windows Live, with uh, Facebook, and integrated them with the phone features like your contacts mm -hmm. and your pictures. So for example, if I go to my People Hub, not only do I see my list of contacts, but I can see a list of all the updates, the friends who are in my circle, uh, you know, they're doing posting on Facebook, on yeah, Windows Live. Absolutely. You know, so I was like, right at a glance, I can, you know, follow and I can, you know, comment or, you know, like their status or do something. So it's right in the, you know, part of the phone experience. Same, same with cool. pictures. Uh, pictures, uh, when I go to my pictures, I start seeing updates. What yeah. the people in my contacts right, are doing, yeah. posting their pictures. So, so I think that is different. Mm. Uh, you are really in touch uh, with the people. And then you can have uh, those tiles on the front page, you know, they're live tiles. Yeah. Uh, you can see live statuses from, you know, different services coming and making it alive. Yeah. Uh, so, which I think no phone really... Yeah, yeah. So, the most phone are mostly iconics. Iconics. So you yeah. click on the phone and then you... You click <laughs> in, you then yeah. come out and do all that. So, this is more, uh, uh, more live. Yeah, but you, you, you know, just to share my personal experience, I was using some other branded phone. And believe me, I was unable to explore it. It was a new phone, recently launched, and it was touch screen, but I was mostly using everything as a tile. I was clicking on the link, and I, then I think, oh, it's not a tile, so it was an icon. And you know, icons behave differently than tiles. So I was doing the same drag and drop kind of functionality, and nothing was working. So it was pretty pathetic time. The guy was saying, you never use this phone before. You know? <laughs> So it's intuitive, like yeah. you don't have to learn it. Yes, it's, it's very simple, straightforward. Yeah, well, once you get into it seriously, you, you will find it very easy. And honestly, every day when I'm using it personally, I, I, I feel more in love with, with the OS. Yeah. But, but it's really so easy. Almost everything is two clicks away. Almost yeah. everything. Uh, other things I think, you've, and I'm sure you've tried those, when you take a picture, you have the option to like uh, set it automatically. It loads up either to your Facebook or to your SkyDrive, mm -hmm. where you have 25 gigabytes of. Yes, that's so great. Yeah. So this, leads, massive. <laughs> this actually yes. leads me to your, to what are your favorite features of Windows Phone Seven? Yeah. Well, first of all, you know this uh, uh, this feature where I, you know I have a backup of my phone. You know I have pictures uploaded, so I can then share a link or up, up, you know upload them to uh, to Facebook. That's a great feature. I talked about the tight integration with, uh, you know, my social networks, my live and Facebook. Uh, another great feature that uh, that I really like is the ability to locate my phone. Sometimes if I'm in the mall or somewhere and I or in the taxi, you know, traveling and all that, and I just maybe uh, left the phone somewhere. And uh, you know, sometimes we have a hard time, you know, to locate or something. Microsoft has a a really nice feature. I can sign up to my Windows Live and it will pinpoint on the map exactly or very close to exactly where the phone is. Yeah, and I can, cool. I have the options to uh, send a text message that would pop up on the screen if someone has it and then I can say, hey, uh, this is so and so, this is the number, I lost my phone, please uh, return it back. Yeah. Return it back. And uh, if maybe I lost the phone within the house, I can have the phone ring, even if it's on silent. Mm -hmm. From the phone, I can send it to, to ring it. I guess I should say, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't know about this? No, not really. Come I on. didn't know. See, it's, uh, <laughs> even living with an MVP all the time, talking about Windows Phone, I still don't know that. It was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. You know. Yeah, and, and, and this thing is not new. It was on, on Windows uh, Phone 6.5. It was there as part of my phone service. Uh, uh, I didn't use my phone at that time, so uh, mm. I'm using it now with, with this one. Oh, ah, okay. So, yes. so and I think there's an option to remotely erase the phone as well. If it's definitely, yeah. yes, definitely. Uh, do you use a password on your phone? Do you have I do. We have to, as part of the, uh, the security. We have mm -hmm. within the company, whenever we sync with our uh, email, we have to use a password. Yeah, so yeah I'm right. using this anyway, and it, that is a great feature once someone tries to, uh, uh, once attempt, once they attempt to enter a wrong password five times, it will yeah. wipe out. Yes. In order to protect your, your data so no one can try guessing the number yes. and then get access to your data. That's a lot of cool usability, small features, but which I think add value. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. absolutely. Exactly. And especially the camera button, the dedicated camera button, that this is thing is fantastic. Is. Seriously, I have taken a lot of great photos with that. 
Yes. Yeah, that's a feature I missed. Uh, it is a great feature because sometimes in the in the moment you have to have a camera. In the older version, you have to first unlock, then go to the camera. But this one really exactly yeah, yes. it takes the cake. Basically, yeah, it's, exactly. it's a great feature. Yeah, and I love that in my Sony Ericsson Xperia X One. Mm -hmm. I had a dedicated camera, but you still you had to unlock and then yeah. start it and then. Uh, what is pinned to your start screen? Uh, besides the basics, you know, the people, uh, the contacts, mm -hmm. uh, the other apps which I have put on, which I use a lot, one is the Amazon Kindle. Mm -hmm. uh, I have another one which is the uh, weather bug, which has oh, a yeah. live tile feature. Yeah, absolutely. So updates the, the weather on a uh, frequent basis. And also shows the pictures. Of different yes, places. icons, yeah. Yeah, the sure, icons sure. of different places in the world. So you can see what's going on in New York right now. I didn't try yeah, it. Yeah, you should try it. It's fantastic, yes. And uh, of course, I have Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, have a, I have a game that uh, I'm really uh, fond of. It's a small uh, uh, flight simulator. You play fly the plane around. Uh -huh. oh. So um, it's a really addicting kind of a game. So ah, yeah, right. I have yeah. a pen, so when yeah. I you know, when I take a break. So it's free or do you have to It's not free. Yeah. There's a free demo that lets you play for, I think, five minutes. Okay. But uh, it's, I think, two ninety nine for mm -hmm. a lot more planes you can fly, mm -hmm. uh, unlimited time you know, you want to uh, fly for. Yeah. Uh, then I have an internet radio application, iHeart Radio. Mm -hmm. I have that. Uh, yeah, sometimes yeah. I want to um, listen to the radio and everything. Uh, that's, and uh, other than that, I think, um, uh, you know, the uh, tiles for uh, uh, Zoom, Zoom is there, of course, because mm -hmm. I listen to podcasts and things like that. Yeah, these things are great, especially with the wireless syncing and all these stuff. That's uh, yes, really yes. great. Do you play Xbox Live or you have some accomplishments there or something like that? I have, uh, like in the home system, in yeah, the yeah. Xbox, you know, I have some accomplishments. Yes. And when I log in, I can see the accomplishments. And if I have friends, I can compare the accomplishments yeah. of you know mm. myself against a friend, mm. and uh, it's it's a very good feature. And uh, children love playing with the avatar, customizing the yeah, avatar. Yeah. avatar. So, yes, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's great. Uh, Tyler, let's go to the important part for the region. Okay. Uh, as a non-native Arabic speaker, uh, is Arabic support? necessary for the platform to move here in Saudi Arabia? I think absolutely, without a, without a doubt. I think uh, to gain traction and people to start using it. If you look at the previous, uh, uh, you know, OS we had 6.5. It had full Arabic support, mm -hmm. you know, interface, uh, Arabic, uh, you know, support and also the keyboard. So we had all that. Uh, with the new one, I think uh, they are working on it. It's just not there yet. You can get Arabic SMS. We can read it. I think the emails and websites are a bit, uh, mm -hmm. they need a yeah. little bit of work. Yeah, especially Actually, Facebook, it shows single characters. All, then, all, yeah. all of the, brow uh, the browser functionality, the entire phone approximately, except for the view mode. Unfortunately, yeah. it shows disconnected mm -hmm. letters, so they are not connected to each other. But the, the great thing is that there is an application in the marketplace that allows you to write Arabic. That's, it's called for SMS. 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 For SMS, but yes. not for uh, email yet. No, no, no. no. Yeah. For the SMS, yes, uh, it can be done, but uh, uh, still it's a, still not the solution that we are looking for, but it's that's a stop measure right yeah. now. Yeah, that's a great thing. You can read Arabic SMS perfectly. Uh, uh, type. Which ones do you think that will help really? Uh, having a, an Arabic keyboard first or having the entire Arabic system uh, ready in place? I think first to have the Arabic displayed correctly. Mm -hmm. And then having a keyboard, so at least you can reply if you're writing any messages. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, full interface. So I think at least you have something people can work with and then have the full interface. So I think uh, uh, hopefully we'll see that uh, maybe in this half or the next half uh, of the year. Hopefully. I'm trying to get the info from the people there at Microsoft. And yeah. Microsoft. But why, why, did, why did Arabic was not there in the first place? I think it's just not just Arabic alone. It's all other uh, Asian languages as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not just uh, Arabic alone. So all other you know languages are coming. So all the I think English and uh, these uh, uh, I think English alphabets or Roman alphabets, okay. whatever they, they yeah. are currently there, like mm -hmm. Spanish mm -hmm. and French. Um, 
So, so hopefully once we see the, the second wave of language support, I think they'll put everything yeah, together. Yeah. Okay, but it will come through uh, updates, right? We don't need to do any hardware update for that? Uh, it's going to be through update, but uh, I don't know if it's going to be sent to specific devices for the region. I'm not sure, but I think it's, it should be common. It should yeah. be something common. Yeah, I think it should be... I'm uh, not sure though, so don't take my, my words for granted. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll let you give you a list of updates available and let peop the user maybe select them. Uh, just yeah. like Windows updates. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just check this and ignore this. Yeah. I don't yeah. want it. So uh, let's hope no one uh, uncheck the copy and paste. I'm sure everyone wants it. Uh, okay. Uh, any other question? Well, you're sure. You know, I'd love to discuss more things. You know, but we why you time, guys right? are holding the phone in front of you and you're talking about general things? Why don't you hold, pick up the phone like me? Okay. And it's Windows Seven phone, a little phone seven. So, and you know, select any feature that I want to know a little more. Um, a question from somebody who asked me this uh, while he was they also using Windows Phone 7, but he's using the branded the T-Mobile phone. Mm -hmm. He said, "Why I cannot change my IP address?" Which IP address? You know, when you go to your, uh, for example, you go to settings and you click on Wi-Fi, and in the bottom there's IP ah, address showing, ah. but I cannot change it. I didn't try that before, but yeah, I don't you, think I don't think if you guys go ever. Most of the and, user tried. You know, some people who are sitting in the wireless network with different IP, they have to specify the IP to mm -hmm. use. He said I cannot. Okay, so it's by default. I think it's just uh, auto assigned. Like yes, DHCP, yes, uh, DHCP. not uh, physical. There's no option. Static change it. Yeah. So yeah. again, just like you know, if you guys ever go and search, find the reason why this option is not there. That's the same like the, the camera. Let me tell you one thing. There are there are a few things that are really uh, uh, necessary, but uh, they're not there. Well, you cannot say that this is a daily functionality that's missing. Honestly, from my point of view, changing the IP address, setting a static IP address or a network, that's not really a must. Uh, wherever we go, I just... Small connect. percentage, it's important. It's important, definitely. Well, yeah. I think when they had to ship the product, Probably they said, you know, this feature maybe can wait a little. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, like for example, uh, customizing the accent color of the phone. You, you have the preset ones, but you cannot add more or, or uh, yeah. change them. Yeah, you can change between the preset ones. But yeah, because if it. you compare with 6.5, you know, the new version, you know, all the things which 6.5 did, some of them are not mm -hmm. uh, in yeah. this, the first cut. But there is a, you know, from what I've heard, it's a massive update coming. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, uh, I'm hoping to be you know, pleasantly surprised with what's coming. Have you tested the, the, the Office web apps while working in the real SharePoint environment? Yes, you know? the, the real live web apps? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, but on the phone? Uh, not on the phone. Okay. I but have seen Excel being used. On the phone? On the phone, yes. Wow. Yeah. Definitely, Office is a huge uh, part of Windows Phone 7. So yeah, mm -hmm. A lot of people will be using Windows Phone 7 for Office work. And this is uh, this is how beautiful it is. It combines your life and your work together in a way that okay, whatever you want, whatever you want. So uh, that's it. So uh, you know, uh, we we can talk about marketplace. You know, how how does a person who uh, what is the starting point for Windows Phone? You know, if I buy a phone, what do I have to do? You know, general things. It's very simple. Three things. You need to put your um, Windows Live okay. email address. You need okay. one email address. You need your Facebook um, information, log okay. information. And if you have a corporate exchange, that information and you are set. Okay. No need to do anything. The phone will go and sync your whole life together, work and personal. Wow. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, just, it's just that simple. So it means that if I add some contacts here on my Windows phone, they're already going to Windows Live? Uh, if you add them as a Windows app, then yeah, they'll be updated. Okay. Usually, if I add a contact, I usually add them as a Outlook or Exchange okay. contact. Yes. So it synchronizes with Exchange, and next time if I have to, you know, go to another device or do anything, it'll just be resynchronized. Wow, that's, that's yeah. fantastic, you know. And these are great things of, uh, uh, of Windows Phone 7, it will automatically sync your iPhone. Yep, yeah. that's cool, that's cool. Um, that's it. So, you know, you have anything else regarding like general features about SharePoint, you know? We still have time. <laughs> uh, we still have time. We can you just want to direct this into SharePoint, don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course. You know, I would love to talk about SharePoint, you know? 
there will be days that we open SharePoint on it and do some upload document stuff and yeah, that's stuff. the complete office set, so you can just connect to a SharePoint. Yeah, there is no SharePoint it. connectivity. So yeah, yeah, if you have, you know, if you think SharePoint twenty ten, you can simply use SharePoint workspace. SharePoint workspaces and open everything offline. Have you tried it? I did it. No, I didn't try it because uh, when I go home, I don't have into you know. I should try at least. Yeah, definitely. I have SharePoint on the Windows Seven. So I should try it. This can go as a session in, in one of our events. Yes. Try yeah, so wait for that session. Yes. We don't know when, but yeah. wait for that session. It will come, come very soon. <laughs> so any closing thoughts? Uh, um, these are the things. Okay, for me, I agree there are some stuff that we need. Uh, really, like for example, copy and paste. Yeah, that's essential. Yeah. Yes. It's coming, it's on the way, uh, on the next update. Uh, Again, well, one feature that I should say should be there is to show this on TV or my projector. That's very important so that I can mm -hmm. share what I'm doing on the phone to all the people. So, so yeah, that's TV amateur is a wireless thinking of Yeah, software. something like any kind of activity. Mm, that's, yeah, that's, you can do that's, the reverse, like if you have a media server, Okay. you can stream your things and watch them on your uh, Windows Phone server. Uh, but that, that's where I need full connectivity. I'm not aware of that. Yeah, that's what I would like. If you have uh, media servers like Tversity or something, uh, people have done, or I, I was reading about it, that they were able to uh, watch the content they have through, you know, wirelessly on this on thing. I have to read about. Yeah, and, uh, this thing is. is and again, amazing. one question: the USB support. You know, when I, if I plug this phone to my my computer, and the previous all phones I used, they showed me the the shared drives. I mean, they open the drive. Why not this phone? What? How can I transfer files from this this phone to my PC? Zoom software. So you can sync your stuff. You know, okay. But uh, yeah, that's a fundamental shift. Yeah. It's not like a mass storage drive anymore. Okay. It's a bit uh, more like a closed box, but you have the Zoom interface to copy things, and you know, and mostly it's uh, your media, your documents, you know, all those kind of things. Okay, so it means I have to install it on my PC. You don't have it yet? Um, yeah. You, know, you, you want reality? I have it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody who's watching this, uh, you know. Uh, no, even if you don't have a Windows Phone 7 device, go and download Zoom and make yes. it your default media player. Yes, that's, that's awesome. It's, it's really a great uh, media player. Yes. Uh, yeah, they're the great stuff. Yeah, 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 that's that's. Really and you can really browse awesome. the phone marketplace without having the phone and see what kind of cool apps are there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many? You know, how many? Five thousand or something? No, no, no. More than six thousand five hundred. Yeah, that, wow. they are reporting around some something around seven thousand. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, that's that's you know uh, the price that I've seen is some some are very very cheap and some are some expensive ones. So how much expensive apps have you seen? <laughs> you know, at any number? Uh, you know, I think I have seen one for four ninety nine dollars. Four four point nine nine. No 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 four hundred ninety nine dollars. Really? Four hundred ninety nine. Yeah, no. for that. Yeah, that's that's an app for rich people. So. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe they can manage their bank account with that. You know. No, for chatting. Uh, let's not go into this. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Uh, this was our Tech Talk episode three. Three, and we did it there where we are sitting. You know, it's very yeah, actually we are, we are we are here in the hospitality of Microsoft, so we are in the Microsoft office. Yeah, here and in Riyadh, so. in Riyadh yeah. and especially Microsoft Saudi, you know. Microsoft. Yeah, of yeah. course. Okay. Uh, this was our session for today, and we'll be having another one. Just wait for us. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.